am Brian Smith, Sony Artisan of Imagery. Today we're talking about shooting location portrait photography. I had a call from Sony. They were doing partnering up with the Creative Coalition to do a project to support arts and arts education. Over the, those three days, we photographed 60 actors and actresses, and then they would write their handwritten thoughts about what the arts means to them in a journal. And I think it was the combination of those two that they were forced to kind of think about what the arts means to them, that everybody came in with a really great attitude because just as, as if you're a photographer, you're very passionate about what you do, they're passionate about the arts. And one of the things that happened would be a lot of people would be taken back to that, that moment that they saw their first Broadway play or they were in their first high school musical. And it really opened things up where this was not about the agenda of the magazine. It wasn't about the agenda of their studio or the photographer's agenda. It really was about them expressing what the arts means to them. And I think that's a lesson that I learned is because typically we at the most had 15 minutes with the subject. A lot of times it would be five minutes and just putting them in a frame of mind where they feel completely at ease. We were in very small rooms on most of these things, so it was great. You know, there was no big team of people in the background. And I wanted to keep it simple, so the options were either white, gray, or black. We ended up going with the charcoal gray behind everybody just to give it a cohesive feel, kept the lighting the same all the way through, same background all the way through, because I didn't want the readers to notice He's now using kicker lights behind the subject. He's changed it around. He's gone to a white background. The light is now harsh. I wanted really the subject to stand out. I didn't want people to notice all the different tricks that I can do with lighting. I just wanted nice, clean light on everybody so it's their expression. How they happen to feel that particular day really came through and it showed their personality, not what I can do with the camera. So, Whenever you're doing multiple images, that's a great idea to really standardize your approach so the images hold together. And that actually played off really well because after our initial three days shooting in Los Angeles, everyone decided we had to keep this thing going. So we went to New York, set up in studio. We even dragged our backdrops to Tony Bennett's apartment on Central Park. We were able to replicate the look that we had in the original shots. And I think that's one of the keys, is not binding yourself in a way that everything has to be shot in a huge sound stage. I guess in a way we were lucky that our first images were shot in a eight by 10 foot bedroom. After that, everything was a piece of cake because we knew like even shooting in a hotel suite, we could move the bed out of the way and we had enough space to replicate it. So sometimes keeping your setup very simple and minimalistic makes it that much easier to match images later in the future. The one thing that you can do to make yourself a better portrait photographer is get more people in front of your lens. The best advice I was ever given was if you want to be a good portrait photographer, go out and do portraits of 50 strangers. Approach people on the street, find out what makes them tick, and do a portrait that reveals something about who they are, not just where they are. So find a subject, pick a great background, and get out there and take some great location portraits.